Hi, everybody. So the question is, uh, how do you add the terms of an arithmetic sequence, like any of the ones you see here? Uh, and I think the person who asked this question was really wondering about something like letter C. So I've gone ahead and done uh, letters A and B so that we can skip right to C. Uh, so they want to know what is the sum of 6 plus 13 plus 20 plus 27 plus da 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 da, da all the way up to 706. So uh, we talked about an example, especially like letter A uh, in the lecture, but we didn't exactly get to something like this. It's, it's very similar though. So I'm gonna switch over to my tablet. Okay, so what I've done is I've gone ahead and written out, uh, I'm calling this sum S. So S is six plus 13 plus 20 plus blah, 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 blah. I put in the second to last term here. Notice these are going up by sevens. So since I know the last term is 706, the term before that must be seven less than that, which is 699. And then I've written the same sum with the terms in the opposite order. Oops, okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these two sums together. Okay, so S plus S is 2S. And then because I've written this sum in both different orders, look what happens when you add the numbers going down. Six plus 706 is 712. 13 plus 699 is 712. Every single one of these adds up to 712. So 2s is going to be 712 times something. So now we just have to figure out what is the something. Well, the something is how many terms are in this sequence. So uh, before I started the video, I was thinking about what's the best way to explain that. And I was planning on explaining it uh, one way. And then I thought of a, um, what I think is a simpler way. So again, notice that these uh, terms are going up by sevens. So I think maybe the easiest way to figure out how many there are is to uh, just count them by sevens. So if I put a seven above this one, and then I put a 14 above this one, 21 above this one, <clears throat> then above the last term, I'm gonna put 707. So uh, let's see, if you were to count by sevens from seven up to 707, how many terms would there be? Well, there would just be 707 divided by seven, which is 101. So this sequence has 101 terms, which means that 2s, two times the sum of the sequence, is equal to 712 times 101. And that means that the actual sequence I'm going to divide both sides of this by two. The actual sequence is going to add up to 712 times 101 divided by two. So now I'm going to grab my calculator and let's see, 712 times 101, I think I could have done that part in my head maybe, divided by two is 35,956. All right, so let's see if my math lab likes that answer. What do we say 35,956? Woohoo! It likes that answer. 
Uh, and that approach should work in any problem like this. So hopefully this is helpful.